in my last video i spoke about uh, how i'm not too big on resolutions yeah just popping in here to remind you that i'm still not as big on resolutions which is why i'm here making this video video I will be talking about creative blogs not because I think I'm an expert at it and I have it all figured out or that I don't go through any creative blogs the reason why I'm making this video is because like I for sure go through a lot of them throughout the year and I know we're just in January right now which is like the starting of the year where ideas are supposed to be a fresh resolutions are supposed to be uh a fresh everybody has started you know 30 days of running 30 days of this 30 days of a clean diet and so on and so forth um me on the other hand in my last video i spoke about uh how i'm not too big on resolutions yeah just popping in here to remind you that i'm still not as big on resolutions which is why i'm here making this video now i have to tell you about this really really cool quote by ira glass kind of lengthy please bear with me uh, but very very relevant quote okay and i feel it's something that will hold relevance even 30 to 40 years down the line so let's get to it ira glass once said nobody tells this to people who are beginners aka me uh, but I really wish someone told me. All of us who do creative work get into it because we have good taste. But there is a gap. For the first couple years you make stuff but it's just not that good. And I have to agree. You know when I look at my content creation journey uh, uh, like, and I compare to the kind of stuff I used to talk about, the kind of uh, posts I used to make back in 2018, 2019. You have no idea, I cringe so hard. Like if I were to look at my content right now and do a reaction video, which actually could be a good idea. Uh, note to self, make a reaction video for your old content. I'll get back to the quote. Yes, we were at. For the first couple years you make stuff, but it's just not that good. It's trying to be good. It has potential, but it's not. It's your taste that got you into the game. And it's your taste that makes you realize that your work is not that good. Your taste is why your work disappoints you. This is very, very important. The best part is our taste and so does our skill. Both of these things are always evolving. So it's not like the moment, say your taste is here and your skill level is here, you just like work consistently for 100 hours and you get your skill level till here. By the time your skill level comes here, your taste has already gone through the roof. So you're always playing catch up. What you need to do throughout this journey is realize that the journey from here to here in terms of your skill set is never linear. You'll go through this, 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 then you'll have a resting period where you have a where you will have an art block, an art block, then you'll go through another roller coaster journey to finally meet <laughs> the kind of taste you had maybe two years ago. And by the time you've reached here, your taste has already, you know, caught up with the, what the 2022 version of you is now interested in. So, I think a lot of uh, getting through an art blog or a creative blog is about cutting yourself some slack. So, like, if you were making notes or if you were like writing down any takeaways, uh, write this down as point number one because I have lost track. We were at why our taste the thing that got us into the game is the reason we also get disappointed. A lot of people never get past this phase. The worst possible scenario, they quit. Most people I know who do interesting and creative work went through years of this. We know our work doesn't have this special thing that we want it to have. We all go through this. And if you are starting out or you're still in this phase, you need to know that it's normal. And the most important thing that you can do is do a lot of work. Like this video is also a note to myself because I am still getting over the idea that almost everything that I produce needs to be perfect. 
when I know it's a very unreasonable ask out of me. And I know I am still at YouTube video number one, but say a year down the road, I'm sure I will improve a lot. But expecting that to happen by the second or third video is a slightly difficult an ask. So I'm going to cut myself that slack and so should you. Back to the quote. Okay, and if you're just starting out or if you're still in this phase, please know that it's normal and the most important thing you can do is do a lot of work. Put yourself on a deadline so that every week you will finish one story. It is only by going through a volume of work that you will close that gap and your work will be as good as your ambitions. And I took longer to figure out how to do this than anyone I've ever met. It's going to take a while. It's normal to take a while. You just got to fight your way through. That's Ira Glass. I only became aware of him when I first read this quote on Instagram and I was so inspired by it. Not because it spoke so deeply, but because it spoke so simply. It conveyed the message it had to convey in such simple words and which is why this quote really stuck with me. Uh, anywho, a little about Ira Glass. He is an American public radio personality and I think that's all that's relevant. But the point being, uh, remember I was talking about uh, our taste and our skill set. Now, the best part is that both of these things are constantly evolving. And the gap that is between both these elements is the kind of work we think we should create and the kind of work we are actually able to create. Okay? The gap in the middle is the judgment. Bridging the gap is only going to happen when you produce tons of work. That doesn't mean in a day. Give yourself time. Start with one video a day. Start with one story a day. If you're a photographer, maybe start with one photo a day. If you're a business trying to go grow on Instagram, start with engaging with one customer a day. When it comes to producing quantity work, it always starts with a tiny goal that you think you can reasonably expand to a bigger volume. And I'll tell you, this is something I realized uh, when I was doing the 30 day reels challenge, where I put myself on a deadline, where I create one video per day until making one video per day becomes a habit for me. And uh, like the reason, like I can say why producing a quantity of work truly makes sense after reading this quote is is because there was a deadline and like I was cutting myself some slack that okay you know what I'm going to post this video I'm going to forget about it and I'll move on to the next one because what happens with us is when we put out our work onto the internet we are so absorbed with the fact that oh you know what let me go check how many likes did I get let me go check how many comments did I get by the way if you're like watching this video please do leave a comment so I can check it later but uh, anyhow not to get too meta and break the fourth wall uh, getting back to the point it's only when you cut yourself some slack and realize that your first few like creations will be absolute trash they will be they will be garbage like when I look back at my first few reels I'm just like Dude, who are you? Like, I would block you straight up. Anywho, that's my inner critic talking. If I were to give a final takeaway for uh, this video, it would be A, that a creative person is in the creative business because they know that they can produce something that can match up to their taste. B, a creative person is in the creative business because they think they have the ability to produce something like that. Lastly, a creative person also goes through an art block or a creative block because often their work does not match up to their taste. And last, when the creative person or when the creative professional or an artist goes through that creative block, my suggestion to them would be that they cut themselves some slack and realize that it was their taste that got them into the game and it's only their taste that will keep them in the game. So yeah, that's about it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I will be back next week with another video.
拜拜。